Hey everyone, uh, Remade the Raging Furry here, and I am back with an update on how to change your HUD size in Minecraft. But here's the thing, I've been getting a shit ton of comments on that video, because my video has something like 46,000 views, and I've been getting a lot of questions, and I mean a lot. So here's the thing. I'm scrolling through the comments on the video right now, and I'm getting things like, has this been patched out? It's missing in the video settings. Um, people have needed this. Uh, what's the texture pack? It's called the natural texture pack. They can't see their chat very well, and they don't know how to adjust it. Or things about the hotbar being too small and they can't see it between FOV can be altered by distance or render distance and they're wondering if it works on Switch or Xbox or PS4 or the phone and here's my answer so first off on Bedrock you should absolutely be able to find this setting I'm gonna go into it now and Bedrock is, I believe, the same for all devices. So when you want to change your HUD size, you're going to be going to your video settings. I'm not sure how it is on phones, honestly. Now you have brightness, you have your camera perspective, and you have all of these things like hiding your hand or your paper doll, you know, the thing that shows up when you sprint. Or you can just hide the HUD if you want for some reason. <laughs> There's screen animations, HUD opacity, split screen HUD opacity. Then there's the FOV, which I have at 60 and I keep it that. Uh, let's see, horizontal split screen, auto save button. There's a lot of things you can turn off and off in your on and off in your video settings and they generally correlate to um, well they generally correlate to how your game UI shows up you know the GUI I am going to go through here okay so here's your GUI scale modifier you should find it after you go to split screen it's gonna have a bunch of options for here about how you're rendering certain things and your GUI scale modifier is going to be right here. Now sadly you only have two scales. You have this one which is zero which is what this looks like or you have one which turns it much much smaller I can't see worth a shit so I turn it to one I wish there was a bigger scale but this is the difference so it should be above render distance and below split screen and all their little settings for clouds I mean for your world then you have things like anti-aliasing and whatnot. There's also a way to show your chat in game, like your text chat. So on your accessibility. This is where you'll have your um, text on the side of your screen if you're using the game chat in Minecraft. You have a UI screen reader, you have text to speech for chat, and you have your chat messaging. I'm not sure if that is what one of these people are looking for, but this is something you might want to think about. We also have someone asking how to change language, but that I don't know what to tell you on. I'm sure there is a setting somewhere on the main screen it would probably be under a settings button and someone is also wondering if you can disable button prompts without hiding the HUD yes you can disable the button prompts without hiding your HUD 
as far as I know. Obviously, there is a section right here where you can literally just hide your entire HUD. But we're talking specifically button prompts here. There's also another person asking how to disable button prompts without hiding the HUD. Now, what I failed to realize is that I play on controller. And there might be people out there who have a console, but they hook up their keyboard and mouse to it. So, on controller, for I believe most controllers, you can hide the controller hints. Which then, the thing, the buttons that show you how to place and mine something won't show up. And that is in wireless controller settings. Now, at the same time, you also have your keyboard and mouse. As far as I know, there is no way to hide controller hints for keyboard and mouse. And it doesn't exactly look like. I can. But that is how you hide your button prompts without hiding your HUD. It's in the wireless controller section, but not the video section where I showed you guys how to change your GUI scale. And that is how you change your HUD size and hide your button prompts. Now just to make sure, I'm going to go back to the video settings and show you the GUI setting. It's going to be under the GUI scale modifier after you go down to split screen. It'll be FOV split screen and then and only then after you go down through all these graphics options will you get to the GUI scale modifier which I mentioned looks like this. I believe this also changes the size of your hotbar. So let's test that. Yep, it changes the size of your hotbar. As you can clearly see, the beginning of my hotbar where my hearts start is at the very inside of my shield. So when you go back to settings again, and remember, this is in video settings, so I'm being redundant here. You have to go all the way past your split screen, go to your GUI scale modifier again, and go to zero. And as you can see, my hotbar is clearly bigger. Now it's at the stud. There you go. And this was your update on how to change your hotbar size, your GUI size, and hide button prompts, which as you can see are not appearing when I get close to blocks, which they normally would. I genuinely hope you found this helpful, and I hope you nuzzle someone's muzzle today.